Intro. What's up, everybody? It's your friendly neighborhood slipgator here, now octagonal, and uh, it is really late. It's about 1.30 in the morning, and I kind of missed today, yesterday's video on Saturday. I put a video out for my other channel, and I went to visit a buddy, and uh, me and my girlfriend went to do that all night, so I wasn't around. And, uh, yeah, but I did get a little bit of work done earlier in the day. I got to wake up and dig, which is like my favorite thing to do, actually. So as you can see, we have the wall all the way. What up, ocelot guy, weird person, floaty guy? Yeah. Aren't you, uh, supposed to be scared of me? Aren't you supposed to be running away from me? And there's an enderman. And I am not scared of you in the least, enderman. And you are going down. Teleport away. Oh, just one hit. Thank you for your two ender pearls. Looting three. Ki. Yeah, sorry. Um, I got a sharpness five, looting three, knockback two, fire aspect two sword. I'm pretty excited. It's uh, pretty much a badass sword. There's the falcon's boot back there. Got my render distance worked out and uh, optifine. So it's a uh, pretty pretty cool now. Let me put a. Well, my OCD's bugging me there a little bit. Yeah, but um, got this built out to here. Not quite sure exactly what's going to go on, but um, we are all the way around the front of the island and can see the wall over here. We're going to bring this around. I'm pretty sure... I can't decide. See, because what I did, I'll show you over here. We'll kind of talk about a couple of things and make some decisions. Um, but I really am psyched. This The way that the natural angle of the land went, I didn't really have to add any sort of land at all, I just cleared out this line and, and this is almost perfectly diagonal so it's badass. But um, what we did was, over here, we walled up the bay and I'm actually, actually, I think I said actually a bunch of times, but we're going to do something here, build some sort of a dock and open this up somehow. But I'm looking about at how I'm going to make the gate for it, and I've been thinking about doing a waterfall gate, uh, piston powered. I've also been thinking about doing a double vertical, uh, double piston vertical extender gate, so it actually would come up from about here up to, and block. Um, the double vertical piston is a little more difficult. Actually, it's a lot more difficult than doing the waterfall. I think that an arched waterfall door along the whole top here would look awesome. Um, the only thing that would be the most difficult part would be where the activator is for it, because it kind of would be, it would just be harder to get a button or a lever going if you have this big water door. So I don't know, we're going to figure it out, but um, filled in a little bit more of this with grass. Um, really like the look of this much better so I'll form kind of a nicer grassy barrier over in this area but uh, keep some of the beach and get a wooden dock going out there uh, I'm probably gonna end up doing some work over here and taking down this area and where our, our sheep are and uh, flattening it out and kind of trying to keep over here the natural curve of this hill that the house is on um, but because we have the, what am I, pardon me, <laughs> because we have the dock area over there, um, wow, I really got to harvest that, um, I was thinking about doing some sort of dock here as well, and, and all of this where I had the little tree factory or whatever you want to call it down there, um, that can just all go, I'm not really worried about it, but originally I was thinking about making this a sort of a bay too, what I think I might end up doing is making this just like a natural area that's open. Um, I think this is going to end up being a larger building that's going to house uh, transportation um, to a couple of places. And I think what I'm going to do is put some transportation possibly underground that goes over to the other side. And then also the transportation that goes out to the Falcon's boot. Um, I may build a tower here but a square one I think um, a building in this area and then leave this open to um, a tower that's gonna end up being like maybe out into the water 
I think that might be cool. So that's kind of what my thoughts are on this area. And I just think, I also kind of think that this area is like, I think it's a little fugly. Like, I think this is fugly right here. So if you don't know what fugly is, look it up. Um, but I'm pretty sure you do. I'm pretty sure you know what fugly is. Oh, I popped on Power 5 on this bow, too, if you didn't, uh, or weren't around for the episode where, what the hell? Oh, my God. Uh, the episode where I went into the nether. Um, but, yeah, sorry, that was bugging me. Um, I like this little pool right here. I think this is kind of cool. And I think this could probably stay and this is I built this I don't know why um, I don't like it anymore so it's gonna go break oh it didn't break um, but uh, yeah you know what I think what we'll do here real quick are you got uh, screwed up ah uh, broke the shovel I think if I do this no? Hmm. Hmm. Fixing water has always been interesting. There, that worked. Will this work if I just pull this out? Yeah, sweet. So, um... This is kind of neat little architecture to the geography down there, but, um... I think I might keep this little weighty pool area. Yeah, like I said, um, I think that going out here and just building a tower, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think I should try to build another dock area back here and maybe use one kind of door on this side and one kind of door on this side? I don't know. I'm not sure what I should do over there. But, um, yeah, like I said, if I sound a little tired or out of it, I'm just... Uh, tired and out of it. It's been, <laughs> it's been a long day, and uh, we traveled out from. I live in Maryland. We traveled out to Virginia to visit a friend, and uh, we had a blast out there. But it's been a long day. It was a little bit of a not dangerous, but a squirrely drive home because uh, five O is out in force. It is Drinko de Mayo today, so it's a good excuse for American people to get drunk since it's the Mexican Independence Day. Um, so the cops are out in force, which isn't really an issue for me. I'm not a big drinker. Uh, I don't drink, so, uh, but it still, uh, made it so that I didn't feel super comfortable, uh, speeding, <laughs> which I do enjoy. Uh, but yeah, also tomorrow, um, I'm going to do a kind of a different video. So I'm going to do a video for a challenge that uh, Doc M77 put out about uh, about challenges, really, is what the video uh, the video contest he did was about, and it's kind of like overcoming your challenges or you know achieving your goals. And so I do a lot of that stuff, and I, I don't necessarily talk about it a lot. I'm kind of embarrassed. I don't I, I don't know why, but I feel embarrassed when I talk about um, you know that I'm not a drinker. I quit smoking and lost a lot of weight and exercise but you know it's part of me that feels proud uh, about it so I'm gonna do a video and uh, hopefully I win first place in this contest I get a dual com with him and I think that'd be badass and it would you know it would be fun for me and achieves one of my goals and you know helps me to kind of cultivate that inner pride and uh, at the same time help my channel out I want my channel to be really successful I'm invested in it and uh, you know, I kind of, it kind of was a goal that I had to have a, a really great channel on YouTube, and, and it it took a little longer than I thought, and uh, I kind of put my priorities out of whack. Um, for a long time, I started, I just had other things going on, but I'm coming back to it now, and I'm, I'm committed to it, and um, yeah, um, if I don't sound excited, it's because I'm partially sleeping, uh, but... I think that's going to be it as I do laps in my storage area. <laughs> yeah, we got to tear this thing, this ugly monstrosity of a storage area down. Uh, God, so ugly. That looks, that looks better just like that. I like it. It's like a mouth. 
Oh, creepy mouth. Let me put some creepy eyes on this guy. Oh, super cool alien. I like it. With like a fiery nose. It's cool. So, uh, yeah, that's the video for today. Uh, send me uh, your ideas and send them to me. Leave your ideas in the comment section below. Like I said, I think the water wall would look cool. I just don't know how to activate it and deactivate it from a boat. You know? I don't know how that's going to work. I, oh, I put some glowstone down in there as well from the time we were in and got our uh, nerves destroyed from ghasts. <laughs> the weird call they do that scares the crap out of me. But uh, yeah, it's about nighttime now. I'm going to wrap it up because I'm just rambling and eh, it's probably not very interesting. So uh, thanks very much for watching as always. I hope that you uh, enjoy the slightly, totally, and completely different video tomorrow. Um, but yeah, and other than that, I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day.